Hello everybody, welcome back to Fairhead. Well, we're just running to the shop. I'm going to pick the land driver up. I'm going to take the uh, corn header back to the yard, put that away. And then we're going to come back down to the yard. Then to the shop, not the yard. We're going to take a loan. And we're going to rent the um, red beet harvester. Get that out of the ground. We need to rent a roller and get the uh, wheat field rolled and then we're going to buy some chickens get the uh, sorkin into the feed trough so it frees up the trailer to uh, empty the uh, beet harvester which is going to take a few loads because uh, the beet harvester I'm going to get will probably be able to pick it all up and then we'll have to just keep emptying it by bits and bobs and go and empty it on the concrete pad we got so uh, I'll get back to the farm and I'll come back to you when we're there let's put away now Keep forgetting. It's manual detach. Right, let's get a loan and uh, we'll go and rent this beet harvester. Um, we're going to go in the tractor actually. Gonna go in the tractor. Just might rent a bigger trailer to do the uh, beat. When we get five minutes, we're not got a lot of work. We'll uh, have a clean up in the yard. Here we are. Pack that here. I'm just gonna go and make a phone call about about getting a, a loan. Give me five minutes. All right. We're, uh, Bank said we can have a hundred thousand pounds. We've had it for four years, and that's £2,274 a month to pay back. So that's nice. So we're out of debt now. All right, let's uh, run over to the shop. Right, it's not in that bit. It must be in it. Ah, oh, here it is, look. Right. How much is this to lease? Twenty four grand. And this one ten grand. We'll go with sixty fares in capacity. We'll leave the engine the same. Manual discharge, yes. We'll lease that for ten thousand two hundred. Combinations we want uh, a sugar beet, potato, sugar cane, all in one. Here we go. Unreal. 
we'll just go with this, this one. What's this do then? Potato, sugar beet. Well, I must do all of them. So we'll just release that. I didn't see how much that was for. Five hundred and ten pound. So we'll get to this field. And we'll get this uh, sugar beet out. Oh. No, we're going to need a trailer for it. We're going to need a trailer. Oh, what's this? Ah, that might come in handy. Do you know what? We'll lease this as well. 2,500, why not, right? And we're gonna need that. Thank you. So that connected it, and now I can't connect it. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get out of the gate with it like that. Alright, I'll see you um, at the field. Alright, oh, here we are at the field. Now that was a tight squeeze getting that down them lanes, let me tell ya. Let's get this, um, oh, no. Let's unfold this harvester. We'll start down the bottom here. Let's go. I think I'll get this all in one uh, one hopper. So we'll put on the first time lapse, and I'll speak to you when this build is done. Alright, oh, that's uh, 80 
two percent of the house there. Well, we get to hundred percent, and then we need to run to the store, pick the tractor over the grain trailer up, and come on, come back and empty it. But yeah, that's nearly sixty thousand liters in the house there. We're now hitting the second headland now. So we'll get this to 100% and then I'll run to the store. I could take the Land Rover, really. We'll take the Land Rover and uh, pick the tractor up with the trailer. So we'll get it to 100%. We'll go around here and we'll go up and down then. I'll say we'll get two, probably two houses full out of this field. Which is quite good. Yeah, we should be able to go up and down now. But yeah, I won't expect it to fill that back. Turn the lights off and we'll head to the store. All oh, right, here we are. And make our way round to the. Oh, I'm stuck. There's a pain getting the harvester in here. <laughs> oh, we're in. Now that was tight. That was tight getting the harvester in, let alone this trailer. Make my way around to the house there. I think this can take two trailer fulls. be unloaded. There we go. Now it's working.
All right. Not much left. Probably about three passes. That trailer over there is full. This is full and going to be full again probably after the second pass. We'll get, we're just going to leave it in the field. I know where I come from and they have a sugar beet. When they harvest it, they leave it on the edge of the field. So that's what we'll do with the red beet. We'll wait until uh, January, until it's time to sell it. Because uh, the gates are tight for these machines to get in and out of. So we'll just uh, leave it in the field at the top until January. I'm going to touch this field until the new year anyway. So that would be fine. I'm going to send the Merlot back. And I'm going to buy the uh, class front loader, what's in the huge market. I think that would be uh, a good addition to the, to the farm. For loading the red beet up in January. And uh, doing the feed mixes for the cows. So that's what we'll do. We'll send the Merlot back and we'll buy that... Uh, class front loader wheel loader should I say not front loader wheel loader I think I think it was fifty four thousand so yeah we'll we'll purchase that we'll have to lease a bucket for it though and a bow spoke but that's that's okay But there's 100, 120,000 litres of red beet in that trailer over there. And it's looking like we're going to probably hit about 50,000 litres in there. So that should be a good bit of change in January. We'll pay some of the loan off. Hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll have chickens by then producing eggs. But we need to uh, get a... A regular income of money so uh, I don't know about if we should get a couple of green asses in place somewhere because obviously water's, water could be free so that'd be an easy income we could maybe be able to put some solar panels down this bottom end down here for another monthly income just so we've got some money trickling in each month until we get established. So yeah, look, looking like we've got one more pass there for this one. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. And I don't think we're gonna we're gonna struggle to get fifty thousand litres in there by the end of it. Could be wrong. Could be wrong, could be wrong. But yeah, we'll just uh, unload the things just here on this level bit of ground. But this is the red beaks finished now. There's this bit over there that we missed. Don't stop. Can you get it all? Yes, you can. Good old boy. It's good to get these two little bits over there. Do a thorough job. Nice. I think there's one more bit up here where the. Uh, where the court fence goes round in the corner. I think that was a bit against that. So yeah, we're, we've ended up with 156 fares and 195 litres probably after I've got this little bit here. And I think for fares and, lit fares and litres was uh, 250 odd pounds. 
So if you want to work out how much we're going to earn, you can do. Feel free. But yeah, that's the red beet harvest finished. Can I unload? We'll leave this in the field until we need to sell it. I said I'm not going to flip this field until next year now. So we'll just leave leave it in the field and we'll scoop it up when it's time to sell so yeah we'll leave it there we'll turn this trailer go put this tractor in the yard and we'll make our way back to the uh, store and I think the Ford might be ready to pick up. And we'll pick it up with, and we'll pick a roller up at the same time. Not the right run. This is the one. I put on time lapse and I'll speak to you when we're finished. some chicks I'm just gonna get them delivered to the yard and then we'll call it a day and then the next time next episode will be in January because there won't be nothing else to do I'll get the uh, grass fields lined off off camera and then we'll move forward to January to uh, sell sell the red beet and the silage will be ready then yeah we'll be all good We'll go pack this at the front of the yard. Be alright. Let's run down here. Got one 
Brewster. as well buy a couple of hundred chickens make it worthwhile and only 420 pound so we've got 241 or 240 chicks and one rooster they'll breed and can't get in there can't get in there Put some food in for them. It's a good place to leave it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fairhead. Well, we're leaving off in the previous episode, compacting this uh, bunker. Oh, that should be near enough compacted. Let's try it. Oh yes. Right, that's the uh, bunker full. I did. We've done this in the previous episode, put this new silo in. What comes all the way around here. We still have this, all this grass to collect. I've em emptied the wagon. Well, I think I emptied the wagon, I can't remember if I did. But if we come around here, over that massive grass field, I've put a fermenting silo over there. I went with a fermenting silo instead of another silage bunker. Red beet knee selling in January. But this is what I did off camera after the previous episode. I put a pathway there into there. I put this nice pathway over to a fermenting silo. So yeah, we can get all the way around it. This grass field, half of this the back end of this field is going to be an arable crop. So we're going to plant something in here today. And we're just going to leave a sliver of grass. Yeah, about that, that much. All the grass that side, what I'm looking at, is going to be arable. And this is going to be grass. I might get the drill and see if I can direct drill it without ploughing it. We'll see. But we'll get back to the, fit, the grass field behind the silage bunker and we'll get that grass collected and get that in the silo. All the grass field is going to need fertiliser and maybe lime. That field there needs fertiliser. So that's what we're going to plan to do today and then we've got to check, check on the animals well we'll check on the animals in December I will because I think I fed them in the last episode or the episode before and I think we're in the same month Oh right, 
that's the grass uh, connected. Well, I just had a change in mind. We could either do half of that big field as a crop, or we could put a crop in that field and a crop in that little field. And we've got two fields of arable. So then we'll have three. Hmm. And we'll just keep this. We'll just keep this uh, grass field here for grass. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we can return that now. No, we can't. I just want to go and pick that forage up in front of that bunker. Chuck that in there. Get that fermenting. Then we'll return that forage wagon and then we'll go and rest. Yeah, take a look at the girl, ladies. See how they're getting on. They make me feeding. Right, get this returned. Well, my plan was to direct drill this, but I just remember that we're playing with seasons, so we can't plant until March, April time. So we'll have to put a hold on that. Right, let's get back to the house. We'll rest. Go into January. Then we'll do some fertilising. Oh, the doors are shut. Right, all our loan payments gone out. We're left for £5,414, which ain't good at all. Let's speed up time, get some daylight on the go. 11 o'clock. Forty-eight percent. How much food do you got, ladies? 21,000 litres, so they're good. We've got 7,281 of milk. Wrong one. Let's have a look how much the milk's selling for. One thousand two hundred and forty-three. September's the best price for that, and we're in December. But we ain't got a lot of money, so it may be a good idea to uh, get that sold. But before we do that, where's, where's the. Uh, have we got a fertilizer spreader? We got fertilizer. Have we got a spreader? I don't think we have. Well, anyway, the first job I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to the the wrapper. Yeah, I'm going to connect to the wrapper. And I'm going to wrap them sarge bales. and get them put away in that shed.
Here's the wrapper here. We've got some silage there still. Oh yeah, manual attach, I keep forgetting about that. that there auto drop and we'll go and get in the Ford I think it's got the front loader on let's just double check oh they both got it on I think yeah they both got it on I will jump in the Ford right we'll break away on the time lapse and we'll get these uh, silage about grass bowed through the uh, wrapper and get them wrapped And then we'll move on into that December the second. We're not getting very on well with this. We need to go find the pallet fork. So I'll be back. All oh, right, I don't know where the uh, these pallet forks are. Can't find them. Ah, oh, I see them. I'm just there, look.
we may get on a little bit better with these. I did lose a grass bow, it went under the floor. Oh right, we've got four bows left. This has took for ages. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. I'm gonna move to January. I'll check on the cows in the second day of this month. But I'll see you guys in January when we come to sell the red bit, when we're loading up the red beet. So I'll speak to you in a second. Well, welcome back to day two. Our bunker's nearly uh, fermented. We've got over 100,000 litres in the silo to sell. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this wrapper away. The bowels are only 50% fermented. But as I said, they're... Uh, going to be used for the cows. I need to check the cows actually, I didn't check them in this yet. We've got some eggs. We need to check the uh, chickens, make sure they've got enough feed. They're nearly out of chicken feed so we need to buy some for them. The cows got 15,000 litres so they're fine. So 
so we'll chuck this um I'll chuck this over here. We'll see where the best place for the silage is to go in. Oh I keep forgetting we got manual attach. Now we go and connect to the trailer and we'll go and get selling silage. We've got eggs to sell. So we'll sell a couple of those silage and then we'll go and buy some grain for the um, for the chickens. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to sell this size at the biogas plant. Well, I think it was at the BGA, wasn't it? Yeah, over there. Well, if anybody knows where I can sell this here, you like to tell me maybe you have to own it to be able to tip it there so we'll go to the place where I know I can tip it and then we'll go from there all right here we are I'm glad I jump cutted the first trip we'll time-lapse the rest but let's see what we make. There we go. We might sell a couple of loads and then rent a bigger trailer. So we can sell more at a time. But it's not bad. 4,833. So we'll do a couple of loads and then we'll rent another trailer. So we can sell more at a time. So for now, we'll put on a time lapse and we'll get coming back with a forward to this cell point. All oh, right, this is load number four. After we tip this load, we're going to head to the store. We're going to buy some chicken feed. We're going to get in the forklift, fill the trailer up, and then we'll uh, dip that in the uh, chicken silo. And then we'll call it a day for this episode. And then in the next episode, we'll sell the, some more silage and sell the uh, red beet. And we'll sort the uh, grass fields out lime them, fertilise them and we'll plough the big field ready for uh, putting a crop in 
in the new year. So that puts us up to 17,179 pounds. So I'll jump cut this to the store. I'll see you in a second. Alright, here we are at the store. Oh, always hit that post coming in here. But I've already ordered the uh, chicken food. It costs ten thousand eight hundred pound for sixteen bags. So we'll fill the trailer up. Is our real loader still? Uh... Yeah, that's still being fixed. That, we should have that back in the next episode. But the store's got a fort if we can use so. So I'll fit what I can in the um, trailer. And what I can't fit in the trailer, I'll load up on the um, trailer with all the rest of the bags we got. So we've got seed, fertilizer, and lime up here. I think we should have two bags left over. Oh, that bag can stay in there now anyway. I ain't messing with that, he's trying to fish that out. Only 600 litres. I thought that was a thousand litres. Here we are back at the farm. Get this tipped in the uh, chicken silo, and then that be it. So, thanks for watching. 
if you liked it hit the like button if you haven't done already subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one Hello everybody, welcome back to Fairhead. Well, we're leaving off in the previous episode, compacting this uh, bunker. Oh, that should be near enough compacted. Let's try it. Oh yes. Right, that's the uh, bunker full. I did. We've done this in the previous episode, put this new silo in. What comes all the way around here. We still have this, all this grass to collect. I've em emptied the wagon. Well, I think I emptied the wagon, I can't remember if I did. But if we come around here, over that massive grass field, I've put a fermenting silo over there. I went with a fermenting silo instead of another silage bunker. Red beet knee selling in January. But this is what I did off camera after the previous episode. I put a pathway there into there. I put this nice pathway over to a fermenting silo. So yeah, we can get all the way around it. This grass field, half of this the back end of this field is going to be an arable crop. So we're going to plant something in here today. And we're just going to leave a sliver of grass. Yeah, about that, that much. All the grass that side, what I'm looking at, is going to be arable. And this is going to be grass. I might get the drill and see if I can direct drill it without ploughing it. We'll see. But we'll get back to the, fit, the grass field behind the silage bunker and we'll get that grass collected and get that in the silo. All the grass field is going to need fertiliser and maybe lime. That field there needs fertiliser. So that's what we're going to plan to do today and then we've got to check, check on the animals well we'll check on the animals in December I will because I think I fed them in the last episode or the episode before and I think we're in the same month grass uh, collected well I just had a change in mind we could either do half of that big field as a crop or we could put a crop in that field and a crop in that little field and we've got two fields of arable so then we'll have three mm. and we'll just keep this We'll just keep this uh, grass field here for grass. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we can return that now. No, we can't. I just want to go and pick that forage up in front of that bunker. 
chuck that in there. Did have fermenting. Then we'll return the forest wagon and then we'll go and rest. Yeah, take a look at the girl, ladies. See how they're getting on. They make me feed them. Right, get this returned. Well, my plan was to direct drill this, but I just remember that we're playing with seasons, so we can't plant until March, April time. So we'll have to put a hold on that. Right, let's get back to the house. We'll rest. Go into January. Then we'll do some fertilising. All the doors are shut. Right, all our loan payments gone out. We're left with £5,414, which ain't good at all. Let's speed up time, get some daylight on the go. 11 o'clock. Forty-eight percent. How much food do you got, ladies? 21,000 litres, so they're good. We've got 7,281 of milk. Wrong one. Let's have a look how much the milk's selling for. One thousand two hundred and forty-three. September's the best price for that, and we're in December. But we ain't got a lot of money, so it may be a good idea to uh, get that sold. But before we do that, where's, where's the. Uh, have we got a fertilizer spreader? We got fertilizer. Have we got a spreader? I don't think we have. Well, anyway, the first job I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to the the wrapper. Yeah, I'm going to connect to the wrapper. And I'm going to wrap them sarge bales. and get them put away in that shed. Here's the wrapper here. We've got some soldiers there still. Oh yeah, manual attach, keep forgetting about that. Sit that there. Auto drop. And we'll go and get in the Ford, I think it's got the front loader on. Let's just double check. Oh, they both got it on, I think. Yeah, they both got it on. 
pole jump in the Ford. Right, we'll break away on the time lapse and we'll get these uh, sarge bowed, grass bowed through the uh, wrapper and get them wrapped. And then we'll move on into that December the 2nd. We're not getting very on well with this. We need to go find the pallet fork. So I'll be back. All right, I don't know where the uh, these pallet forks are. Can't find them. Ah, oh, I see them. I'm just there, look. We may get on a little bit better with these. I did lose a grass bow, it went under the floor.
Oh right, we've got four bows left. This has took for ages. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. I'm gonna move to January. I'll check on the cows in the second day of this month. But I'll see you guys in January when we come to sell the red bit, when we're loading up the red beet. So I'll speak to you in a second. Well, welcome back to day two. Our bunker's nearly uh, fermented. We got over 100,000 litres in the silo to sell. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this wrapper away. The bowels are only 50% fermented. But as I said, they're uh, going to be used for the cows. I need to check the cows actually, I didn't check them in this yet. We've got some eggs. We need to check the uh, chickens, make sure they've got enough feed. They're nearly out of chicken feed, so we need to buy some for them. The cow's got 15,000 litres, so they're fine. So we'll chuck this... Um, we'll chuck this over here. We'll see where the best place for the silage is to go in. Oh, I keep forgetting, we've got manual attach now we go connect to the trailer and we'll go and get selling silage we've got eggs to sell so we'll sell a couple of those silage and then we'll go and buy some grain for the um, for the chickens Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to sell this size at the biogas plant. Well, I think it was at the BGA, wasn't it? Yeah, over there. Well, if anybody knows where I can sell this here, you like to tell me maybe you have to own it to be able to tip it there so we'll go to the place where I know I can tip it and then we'll go from there all right here we are I'm glad I jump cutted the first trip we'll time-lapse the rest but let's see what we make. There we go. We might sell a couple of loads and then rent a bigger trailer. So we can sell more at a time. But it's not bad. 4,833. So we'll do a couple of loads and then we'll rent another trailer. So we can sell more at a time. So for now, we'll put on the time lapse and we'll get coming back with a forward to this cell point.
this is load number four. After we tip this load, we're going to head to the store. We're going to buy some chicken feed. We're going to get in the forklift, fill the trailer up, and then we'll dip that in the uh, chicken silo. And then we'll call it a day for this episode. And then in the next episode, we'll sell the, some more silage and sell the uh, red beet. And we'll sort the uh, grass fields out, lime them, fertilise them, and we'll plough the big field ready for uh, putting a crop in in the new year. So that puts us up to £17,179. So I'll jump cut this to the store. I'll see you in a second. Alright, here we are at the store. Oh, always hit that post coming in here. But I've already ordered the uh, chicken food. It costs £10,800 for 16 bags. So we'll fill the trailer up. Is our real loader still? Uh... Yep, yeah, that's still being fixed. That, we should have that back in the next episode. But the store's got a fort if we can use, so, so I'll fit what I can in the um, trailer. And what I can't fit in the trailer, I'll load upon the um, trailer with all the rest of the bags we got. So we've got seed, fertiliser and lime up here. I think we should have two bags left over. Well, that bag can stay in there now anyway. I ain't messing with that, he's trying to fish that out. Probably only 600 litres. I thought that was a thousand litres.
All right, here we are back at the farm. Get this tipped in the air, chicken salad, and then that be it. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't done already, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fairhead. Right in previous episode we were selling silage and uh, we incurred uh, an hourly fee, what took us to £266. So, uh, again in this episode we're going to be selling silage. I think we've got 40, 46 fares and litres in the fermenting silo but there's still 100,000 litres of grass to ferment. For the last four fares and also fares and litres. I think it's just under four and a half fares and litres. Could be wrong. And the, and the grand total is. Yeah, we're just under four. Well, we've got one fares and 388 pounds for that, and we're up to 20 fares and 971. I think we're going to get back to the farm and we need to return some stuff what we've got on lease what we don't need until March time April because the uh, monthly charges are rinsing us so we need, we'll get rid of what we don't need And we could start the plough, and I'll just remember, we have got a plough. I think that's on lease as well. We'll put this trailer in the yard and we'll double check. Yeah, there's the plough. So we'll swing by here. Hello to you two. We'll check on them, see how much food they got. Can't remember. Can't remember if they was alright or they needed topping up. But we'll drop this here. Let's go run over here. We've got 14,000. 496 litres of food and they've got 12, nearly 13,000 litres of milk. Mmm. I'll, I'll say we go and get our... Uh, I do for what not. Let's see how much one's going to cost to lease. Milk tanker. Twenty thousand litres. How much do you to lease? Oh, that's dirt cheap. We can lease that on a long-term lease until something comes up in the used. 
nothing in there for us now. Um, let's check the price of milk, actually. Milk, there you are. We get one pair of three hundred and sixty six in January. Yeah, that I am saying a bad price. So I'll see you at down at the store. We'll buy a milk tanker. Not buy lease one. Nice. Right, let's uh park over here. We'll go and lease the uh, milk tanker. And we'll get back to the farm. And uh, we'll uh, tr try and find out where the uh, milks collect the milk from. So I'll see you. Back at the farm, finding the uh, cow's milk. Oh right, here we are. We're going this way into the farm because I think I did buy some diesel and this tractor needs diesel. So we're going to go over there to the diesel tank. I think there's one over there. Yeah, over here, look. I think I brought some diesel. Switch you off. Well, a thousand litres cost £2,475. Now she should work. While we was waiting for that to fill up, we could have uh, got rid of some of the leased items. Yep. Right, while that fills up, we'll go into leased items. We've got to keep that, that, and that, and that, and that. That can go. I suppose these can go as well, to be honest. I won't need to use them till a few months. We're going to use that. We're using them, and that can go. Right. Best place for milk. No, wrong one. Milk, 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 milk. I keep forgetting about this. And I'll just empty it in our size up. Here we are, gonna sell our first load of milk from our lovely ladies. 16,885 pound. It's nice. So we're up to 34,796. So we'll get back to the farm, we'll drop this milk tanker off at the cow's shed. We'll connect to the plough and we'll come and do two headlands of a field what we're going to create and then we'll uh, rest 
and we'll probably sell a couple of loads of red beet. All right. Um, I don't know if it's gonna get to get too dark for doing a couple of headlands. So I think I may go and rest first. Then we'll take a look at the red beet price. Yeah, then we'll take a look at the red beet price. And then we'll decide what we're doing. Selling red beet or ploughing a field. So I'll see you in January. Welcome to January. Well, we're going to speed up the time a bit. Put on times one there. Because we've gone from nine o'clock to half past twelve. So let's have a look, take a look at the red beet situation. Red beet. All the way down the bottom there it is. Two hundred and eighty six. Uh, two hundred and eighty, so we need to sell. So then you gotta connect to the trailer. Then I need to head down to the sh store, check the um, wheel loader. If the wheel loader's fixed, uh, I end up with, I need to rent a transport trailer. I'll just come by the yard. I'll see you down the um, down the store at the real loader, seeing if it's uh, fixed or not. Oh right, I just got off the store, off the phone to the store. They said the wheel loader still ain't fixed. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to disconnect to this trailer, leave this here, ready to sell red beet. We're going to go and connect to the um, plow. And we're gonna go and plow a, a field what we need to do. All oh, right, we're going to leave this episode here. We'll finish that bit off in the next episode, and hopefully, in in the next episode, we uh, finish this grass field off. Maybe in the next, in the second day of January, the wheel loader might be fixed, and then we can sell the red beet. If not. We'll have to pay contractors to come and collect it and sell it for us. I think there was 167,000 litres or something like that. But we'll take a look at that in, in the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.
Hello everybody, welcome back to Fairhead. Well, we're starting off in where we left off in the previous episode. We've got this field to our plough. We may come and pick the stones off it. We need to uh, take care of the cows, they need some more grub. And we have the uh, red beet to sell and silage to sell, so we're going to have a busy episode. So I'm going to kick it off with the uh, first time lapse and we'll get this field done and then we'll go and contend to the cows. So I'll speak to you in a jiffy. <laughs> Oh right, that's nearly the field ploughed, got two passes to go. We'll jump in, uh, after we've done this, we'll go and jump in and feed the uh, cows. We'll give them what they require. Well, we'll use the hay and the silage, what we we got to what we can use. Come March, we need to uh, cut the grass fields again. We need to fertilise them as well. Actually, the barley field needs... Uh, a layer of fertilizer so maybe we'll need to do that after we've done the cows um, do I do that strip there I decide when I come back up yeah so we've got some fertilizing to do this this field's gonna need lime and uh, the stones picking off but we have till March April to do that So we get this plough uh, folded up, get it back to the yard, we'll jump into the uh, Ford. The mass is already connected to the uh, feed mixer. And we'll, uh, we'll get the cows fed. Can I do this in one pass? Nope. Yeah, but that's annoying me. We're going to get that little bit as well. And that's a field created. Nice big field. We're going to plant wheat or barley for the chickens. I know we got a, a field over there, but I can't remember how, that, how many chickens that uh, coop holds, but I think it's a good amount. So we're going to need all the feed we can get. What's the best approach for this? Yeah, we'll cover it like that. We'll leave that little sliver of grass there. We'll take this bit of grass out. Nice, nice, nice. And that's a wrap. Yeah, we get. I get back to the farm. Get this con disconnected. And we'll get All right. Let's. Uh, this bottom of this yard needs clearing out. I'm gonna go into that bit where that grass is on that hill. I'm gonna see if I can flatten that. We're gonna extend the yard at some point. So disconnect the hoses, yep, detach, turn the tractor off, jump into the Massey, 
activate the mixer. We'll jump in the uh, Ford. Mate left the new Holland in a bad place, but we'll uh, we'll go with that. So it's two hay, two silage. Yeah, two hay, two silage, and then it will take the bow what's left in there, but it will still be a good mix. Can I drop these both in here? No, I cannot. Bow's not supported here. Hmm. Now why are they turn grass? So why are these ones grass then? Oh they may have been grass actually. For some reason I was thinking it's two of each, but I think it's one of one of one, two of the other. Just get a storage bow just in case. I've only got three storage bows left anyway. Yeah. Let's go try that. What's the worst it can do? It it can put it to forage, mean mean and hay. So let's see. Yeah, it's going to be uh, TMR. So. Feed what cows what we can. Here we go. Look. Oh, come out of the trigger. I saw the trigger was further down. Okay, we'll sit here and let that empty. Let's check them. Don't seem to be going up. Yeah. I think we've got some birds to sell. Some males. 243, yeah, we'll get rid of them. We'll go check on them in a minute. But for now, let's, uh, let's get these cows fed. Alright, we'll go do we'll do one more load and then we'll uh, tip that into the um, start that tipping that into the feed trough 
and then we'll jump back into New Holland. We'll run over to um, the trailer, connect to that, and then we'll uh, go and sell some silage whilst in the fermenting silo. Or whatever, I think there's about 40,000 litres. We'll get that sold, and then we'll move into ja uh, day two of January. And then hopefully our wheel load is um, finished. Come on, get in there. There's one. Oh, I need to put the hay one in there first. Damn it. What's going on with this battle then? Oh, I still uh, tell me ration, I think. Yep. I will let that unload there. The track needs to be on though. Just check them. Yeah, forty-four thousand meters. That will do. Ducks. Oh no, that's the animal dealer. So we'll just sell them from here because I ain't got a trailer to. Transport them. Yeah, we can have 900 and 960 birds in there. But we don't want all these mouths. So we'll just get seven of them. Last three. So we're down to 473 birds. Uh, 960. Ooh, they're going to produce a lot of eggs. Yeesh. Right, let's just check this, Massey. Have we finished yet? Switch you off. charge we got there we have we've got 61 thousand litres of grass to ferment and we've got another tra a trailer in a bit so we'll get these two trailers full all right here we are Shame I don't own this um, trailer because uh, we could configure it into a silage trailer, but it's leased. Well, that's tip, and let's look at the used market. S still nothing. Oh, that could be. I don't know if that will. Uh... We just had a leasing cost come out. That must have at least we just hit another hourly fee. So let's run back and get the last um second load. And I'll see you back at the uh sell point when we're tipping.
All right, that's another fourteen and a half thousand litres. Let's get get let's get this to the sell point, and then let's get back to the farm and uh, get some fertilising done. All right, here we are. Should hit about thirty four thousand, thirty five. Eight thousand three hundred and seven and puts us up to thirty six thousand three hundred and eighty three. Nice. Right, let's get back to the farm. I'll jump in the uh Ford and we'll see if we can connect to the uh, Massey spreader without it tipping. All oh, right, here we are. Take this gateway is, but we're in. Right, we'll just come down there. Have we got any fertilizer up here? Yes, we do. Turn the lights off. Right, let's see where this. Oh, there's a spreader. Yeah, I don't know if it's fertilizer or uh, lime, but I'm pretty sure it might be lime. Yeah, lime. We need fertilizer. Um, I'm going to need a front load in there, isn't I? Right, I'll come back to you when we're in the uh, barley field and we're spreading fertiliser on it. Let's turn you on. Yep. That's working. Lovely. Right, we'll chuck this on the time lapse. We'll uh, we'll get the this field done, and we'll get the uh, free grass fields done as well, and then we'll rest. That's all the fertilising done. I think I might miss a bit there, just there, yep. So what we'll do, we'll get back. Oh. No. Might let me do it. We'll get back to the ad. We'll go and rest. Because we got no way of scooping up that uh, red beet. Not unless the uh, wheel load is fixed. Or we rent a telehandle or something. But we'll look into that in day two. All oh, right. Here we are in day two. We've had some leasing costs go out, for property maintenance, 
but we still got 39, pounds in the bank. I'm going to speed the time up, get to 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock will do. It's raining, not raining, snowing, sorry. So look in the used market. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Right. Well, let's let's have a look. See if the. Uh, No, that's still... So what we're going to do, we're going to... What shall we... So we rent this big boy. How much that's going to cost us to lease? Twelve grand. So we'll just lease to get on with it. Just get it done. Um. at least that as well. Right, let's get back to the field and uh, size difference right I'll see you um, at the field when we're, lo when we're loading the trailer alright here we are well we need, I want to get all this red beet sold and I want to get enough money in so we can try to buy that uh, John Deere tractor and then we can send this new Holland back. Help save us uh, some monthly fee on that. While that's filling up, we'll check where we're going. Fair Grain Limited. Where would that be? I think that might be up near the uh, store. So yeah, let's get this sugar beet, not sugar beet, red beet sold. tip this load and then we're gonna rent a bigger trailer because 14 and a half thousand litres isn't much I 
thinks I'd work, uh, but I don't only lease equipment. And you have to lease everything. But there should be another eight thousand, eight thousand pounds, just over. Oh, five thousand six hundred and sixty-nine. That was a bit. I thought the last load was eight thousand, but maybe it was five thousand. Right, we go uh, get to the store, and we'll have a look at the uh, trailers. Trailers. What's that? Thirty thousand. Yeah, we'll lease that. Eight hundred and sixty-seven pound. So again, double, double air uh, capacity. So I'll get connected to this, and I'll see you back at the farm, and then we'll get this red feet sold. And then in the next episode, we're going to be selling silage. I would like to sell it this episode, but it'll be an episode selling silage and red beet all on time lapses. So, anyway, I'll see you back at the farm. Oh, right, here we are. We should, uh, we should go a bit quicker now. So let's get all this beat off the field and get it sold. Oh right, we had 28,970 litres in there. Oh, that empty quick. That was 11,570. So we'll go back to the yard. I'll uh, load this trailer up one more time. I won't show it all, all the trailer being loaded up. I'll do three or four buckets. Then I'll see you back at the sell point. We'll sell another load. And then uh, I'll jump cut the rest because there's going to be about six six more trailers full I should imagine so I'll put back on the time lapse and we'll um, we'll get another trailer done
right, that must be full now. So I get this to sell point, and then I'll do the rest off camera. So it should be another eleven thousand pound, and I say we got at least five or six more trailers full. But as I say, I'll do the rest of it off camera. I'll come back to you when we're tipping the last trailer full. It won't be a full trailer. So yeah, I'll see you in a jiffy. All right. Here we have the last load, it's 15,657. I do believe this is load number six, five or six, I can't really remember. But as you see, we're up to 94,568 pounds, and that's without selling any silage. Five thousand seven hundred and forty seven, so we're up to hundred K. Let's take a look at the silage. That's got thirty two thousand litres in. So we'll run back to the farm and we'll fill that up with silage. We'll get that sold and then we'll go and do the bunker. Fill the trailer up once. So I'll see you at the uh, fermenting silo. All right, here we are. Right, uh, that John Deere tractor. I think the best thing to, uh, for us to do is to take, how much is it? So we take another 230,000 pound loan. Yeah, we take, a, we take another 230,000 loan by the John Deere send us New Holland back and that's going to save us on the monthly leasing cost because the loan cost would be a lot cheaper and then once we sold all the silage we can pay all the money what we sell so get for the silage we can pay back up most of the loans so I think, yeah, that's what we should do. So I'll get to the uh, sell point. We'll come back, we'll load this trailer up with silage out the pit. And then we'll buy, we'll return this and go down and buy the uh, John Deere. All right, we're gonna go down to the store now because I don't want to miss out on that tractor. We're gonna 
take a look, see what end size we can uh, get it up to and how much we need to uh, borrow. We've got 134 grand to go towards it. And then in the next episode, well, we'll come back and sell another two loads of silage. And then we'll leave the episode there, I reckon. Because we have done a lot in this episode. We sold all the red beet. We've done the fertilising. We've we created the field. And it's uh, the sunset look. Nice. This tractor's got 10 out 10.4 hours on it and it's leased. So Thanks New Holland, you've been great. Shame we can't keep you. I'm definitely not repainting it. Right, let's go into Well, that puts up the price up to 267 and there's 388 horsepower so take a loan See that puts have a monthly payment on 2776. Now total loans we owe 560k. So we're coming in there. Get the John Deere. 267,000. Buy that. Thank you very much. That's a good buy as well. So we're left with 12,000. But now we've got our own tractor. Then we're not going to be keep paying for the new Holland, which is going to save us a bob or two. Right, I'll see you back at the farm and we'll get this uh, trailer filled up with silage once again. Alright, 
We're back at the farm. We'll get this train of filled up again. And uh, that's it. I'm going to call it a day. We're back down to 29,650 pounds. We're, we're 500, 550,000 pounds worth of debt. But we own our own tractor, a nice 7 r 350. So no more leasing in New Holland, which is going to be a great help. So uh, I'm going to leave this one here. Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like on the like button and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now